An owl attacked you? She asked, sniffing Stella Luna's fur. She whispered, You are Stella Luna. You are my baby. You escaped the owl? cried Stella Luna. You survived? Yes, said Mother Bat as she wrapped her wings around Stella Luna. You're such a beautiful bat. Thank you, Mother. I missed you so much. I thought I had lost you forever. Look at you. You've grown so big. I have? Stella Luna, you're back again. Oh, I'm, I'm glad back that you found your again. way home. I thought you were lost, but now you're back in my arms. After I'm flying on your own. It's so good. This is my mother. Yes, we do look alike. <laughs> A friend of yours? Yes, since my first night alone. Come with me, and I'll show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug as long as you live. But it's night time. Stella Luna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark, or, or we will crash into trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in darkness. Come with us. Mother, wait! Stella Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. Stella Luna could see. She felt as though rays of light shone from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. Soon, the bats found a mango tree. And Stella Luna ate as much of the fruit as she could hold. So this is fruit. Mmm, great, isn't it? This is the most delicious food I've ever eaten. Mm. Excuse me. Mangoes are my favorite fruit. They are marvelous, magnificent, a miracle of taste. So juicy and delightful, I could eat them every day. They're so delicious, so nutritious, what more could there be? Many mangoes, juicy mangoes for me.
So long, sticky wings. Nom. Mm. Hey, how's your mango? Fine. How's yours? I'll never eat another bug. As long as I live, cheered Stella Luna as she stuffed herself full. Mmm, I must tell Pip, Flitter, and Flap. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. Come with me and meet my bat family," said Stella Luna. "Okay, let's go," agreed Pip. They hang by their feet and they fly at night and they eat the best food in the world," Stella Luna explained to the birds on the way. As the birds flew among the bats, Flap said, "I feel upside down here." So the birds hung by their feet. Everyone, this is my bird family. I'm Flap. Hi, I'm Flitter. P Pip, and, and that's, that's Pip. Pip. I know Mama Bird told us not to, but isn't it great hanging by our feet? <laughs> yeah, great. Mm-hmm. How do you take off when you're upside down? Just drop and flap, flap. I guess it's not as easy as it sounds. Yes, we do look funny upside down.
So, how does it feel to be upside down? Okay, but it sure messes up my feathers. Those are funny looking bats. They aren't bats. They're birds. Oh, birds! Look! What? Look! What? Look! What? Birds hanging upside down. It's about time they got it right. Hey, that bat owes me a mango. <laughs> hey, wait up! <laughs> hey, come on, slow down, will ya? Wrong bat. Wait until dark, Stella Luna said excitedly. We will fly at night. <coughs> when night came, Stella Luna flew away. <whistles> Pip, Flitter, and Flap leapt from the tree to follow her. yelled Pip. Neither can I! howled Flitter. Aye! shrieked Flap. They're going to crash! gasped Stella Luna. I must rescue them! <laughs> Stella Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them to a tree, and the birds grasped a branch. <laughs>